There is a pattern developing for young Bud Norris. The Astros righty has received a decision in all eight starts, the first three wins, the next three losses, and now back-to-back -back wins. So he has to make it three in a row on Friday, right? It's like that SAT part where you have the patterns and everything's got to come together. It'll be a win. Lance Berkman, he's doing his part. 21 home runs uh, this season, the least since 2000. Well, now he's got 22. He's getting a little closer to not doing that one nothing Astros. Bottom three, Corey Hart, base hit for him. Felipe Lopez will come in off Norris. We're all tied up at one, but Norris, he has some dominant stuff. He's a high fastball, he's Casey McGee chasing, then Mike Cameron staring at the hook. Go to the fifth, Jason Kendall. Sit down, Frank Catalanato can't touch this. He's like MC Hammer. Eight strikeouts for Norris, five innings, allowed only one run. Top six, Miguel Tejada. Gonna put the Astros in the driver's seat. Knocks home Hunter Pence with the base knock. And it's 2-1 Houston. Bottom seven, though, Felipe Lopez, the chopper, and it gets through. Lopez reached base four times in this game. J.J. Arnie comes in, we're tied up at two. Next inning, Casey McGee to Hunter Pence. Prince Fielder's going to score 3-2 Brewers. And they have the all-time save leader on their side, Trevor Hoffman. And Hoffman just 1-2-3. Jeff Kepcher rips it, but right at Ryan Braun. 588 career saves for Hoffman. Brewers have won three in a row. David Weathers earns the victory in relief, his fourth on the season. Prince Fielder still trying to pass Cecil Cooper for the Brewers franchise record in RBIs in a single season. He remains at 126, his fifth straight game without an RBI.